We have finally gotten to the adaptation of the Dragon Ball Super Superhero movie into the manga, and you can celebrate because it's not too late to get your hands on a piece of the then, now, and forever Gohan merch line that celebrates Dragon Ball Super Superhero, the movie, and now the manga, available in t-shirts, multiple different types and hoodies, as well as different colors and sizes, ships all over the world. This merch line was the most successful I had ever done in the channel, and now is your chance to own Then, Now, and Forever. The link is down below. So the Dragon Ball Super Superhero prequel events in the manga are over. Some would say too soon, Others would say not soon enough. So let's talk about Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter 91. Will we finally see Broly? Will we see Magenta? What are we in store for with the movie adaptation? Joining me as always is Mr. Senpai over here. And we're going to discuss that plus a lot more. First question for you, man, this time. Yeah. Did you think the manga prequel stuff with Trunks, Mai, Goten, did you think it was too soon? Or not soon enough that it ended and now we're getting into the movie adaptation. The way they approach this should have ended like two months ago, to be honest. It was dragged on. One month. Nothing. Nothing that happened in this like prequel had any impact into the, the actual movie. We actually first thought that there was gonna be something. Remember that disc, right? We thought that this was going to then carry over into the movie and they were gonna expand upon that, maybe make some changes to the actual movie. And then we find out that the disc was actually just holding uh, freaking artwork, right? And he had memorized Well, it was blueprints, but yeah, he memorized it, so it yeah. didn't matter. Yeah, so yeah, it, yeah, it, yeah. It, was, it was garbage, man. It was, it was garbage. So, yeah, it should have been over a long time ago. Right. No, it was definitely, I don't know about two months, but I was expecting a little bit more from it. But now we're moving into the movie stuff. And uh, the first thing I want to ask you about is, I want to talk about some of the characters that got more of a spotlight in the prequel stuff because they're probably going to make some changes. What do you see for the characters of Goten, Trunks, and Mai? Will we see them in this <laughs> chapter? Or is Toyotaro going to just forget about them, focus on what was in the movie, and not bring them back until the Cell Max fight like what was in the movie? Do you think it's going to be a seamless transition or they're just going to forget about it and move on to just other stuff? It, it's going to be a seamless transition because if you look at the movie, it starts pretty much like three months later after. Because Dr. Hedder received a three-month sentence. We obviously see that he gets out earlier. But there seems to be like some sort of time jump between yes. the present and that. And there's right? a time jump so, in the movie too from when Magenta gets him out to when Gamma appears to fight Piccolo. There's a time jump there as well, which can also be filled with whatever Toyotaro wants to fill. So uh, they could add stuff to this that wasn't in the movie. I'm not saying they will or they won't. The question is, what will they add? Yeah, well, when it comes to Goten and Trunks, I, I want to focus on this. Let's first talk about Trunks, right? Because he was pretty much the protagonist. He was the main character of the prequel. Going into now the present time, the, the movie, right? The only thing I would say about Trunks and Mai and, and their relationship is that whether you like it or not, hate it or love it, they're going to continue to expand upon that because in chapter 90, Mai did say, hey, if you do this for me, we can go as many dates as you want, right? Yeah, like, I'll, which I think I, she, I don't was care. Just, she was just saying that to get him to do something, right? But yeah, I agree that, I agree with you, it's, it's going to continue. Yeah, she's, she's a woman of her word. She, she rarely like lies and kind of back backtracks her own words. So I think she's going to fulfill her duty because she kind of sees this as whatever. I don't really care, right? But on top of that, you might not agree with me on this one. I actually think that Mai is trying to force herself to like Trunks by giving him a chance. It may not seem that way, but if you go back to chapter 90, the fact that she says, you're the only Trunks that I got. Yeah, I re like I, I kind of for a moment fell in love, but I realized you're the only guy that I have. You're the only Trunks in this world. I think she's trying to find a spark in him or trying to get him to become the future Trunks that she actually fell in love with. Yeah. So I think she is giving him a chance. If they like, do genuinely. that, I mean, if, if they do that, I don't care what anybody says. It's creepy and weird. At the same time, <laughs> at the same time, it's not like I'm offended by it. I just think that 
what's going to end up happening, because this I don't think this can go on forever, is he's going to have to find out at some point that she's really like an older lady trapped in a young woman's body. Maybe not until he's older. He may not care, but what will Bulma say? She already knows. So it, it is, some people don't care about this. Others do. But you're right. I think it'll continue. But will it continue now, or are they going to give it a break till later? No, I, I think it's going to continue, but it's going to be kind of short, like little hints, pieces here and okay, there. Okay, like not a major I, story. I got you. What about Goten? Yeah, not, not a major story, but but it will continue. Now, the whole thing about this being creepy, unfortunately, there's a lot of other animes oh, where a character way goes back worse. into the past yeah. and retains his memory and starts dating the little girl. You know, yeah, so, no, no, no. This, this is nothing. I, 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 absolutely nothing it, new. It's just still weird. Yeah, for, for us Westerners, but... For the Japanese people, I guess it's, 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 it's normal. Yeah, they're yeah. Different. In fact, their their legal age is actually much younger than in America. Right. For consent. Right. You know? Right. So that's hey, everyone has their own opinion on that. So what about Goten? What do you see with Goten? Uh, my, my boy Goten. My boy. A lot of get folks think he was wasted in this in this arc. A lot of Goten fan, fans came out of the woodwork for this, and they felt that he was wasted. What do you think? That's because you have to realize that this prequel was really all about trunks right right the, the the problem was dragon ball fans is that whenever we see trunks we see goten like we imagine like they can't be separated right, right? like they're present best friends. trunks present trunks present trunks right the, the thing is though that they wanted to give trunks his own little highlight now for the upcoming saga i do think that there's going to be a, a particular point that they're going to follow with goten and that's the fact that he's going to have a new love interest and the person who i think it's going to be is the girl that he took out because, uh, on, on the date because what we've seen before in other anime and even in dragon ball sometimes the person that you don't like ends up becoming the person that you fall in love with so the girl that he took out she went with him because she was trying to get to trunks and she was spying on mine but ultimately, I think the way that's going to conclude is that she's going to fall in love with Goten as she starts to see how cool Goten is. And Goten is going to get his moment in the sunlight that Trunks isn't going to get, I think, in, in the upcoming uh, chapters. We'll see. I mean, it, it, it did kind of feel like he was an afterthought here. Now, um, what do you think about... The, the Now we're getting into the actual meat and potatoes, okay? We've been talking about this for some time, you and I. What do you think about Broly actually now showing up? Because we have to, you know, there's a perfect opportunity here to show Broly not only getting to Beerus's planet, but also training with Goku. In one of the early teaser trailers for the film, there's a shot of them fighting each other. And when you see the movie, it's almost like it already happened. So they yeah. plan to put a scene of, of Goku and Broly training that they cut out of the film. I feel like the manga is a perfect opportunity to put more Broly in and to actually have him be the focal point of their training going into the superhero movie. Because by the time the movie takes place, it's Goku, Vegeta, and Broly. Beerus is asleep. He wakes up in the movie along with Whis. So I think the opportunity will be there. And I think that Toyotaro will use Broly as a way to hook Broly fans into coming back to the manga now that we're getting into the movie adaptation. What do you think about Broly? I'm actually happy you mentioned that because I actually think that's exactly how the next chapter is going to literally begin. They can't Me too. really go the Me way too. they can't they can't go the way the movie did it, right? Following Dr. Hedo, because we just ended on him going to jail. We can't then just have a, a, like a jump of him getting out of jail. We can't go on to Goten and Trunks because that's already it's not their story anymore. Right. The prequel was like Trunk, right. Yeah, so, we I mean we could go on to Gohan and Piccolo. I just don't think they're gonna go there yet. You know? No, 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 no. I think I, I think for for them to show us that this is a like visually show us this is a, a now a new arc, is by going straight to Goku, him meeting up with Broly and then going to Pan of Beers, and that's gonna give us enough of a tease for us to keep reading. So that's yeah, how it's gonna start. I think a lot of fans, I, I've noticed that a lot of fans seem to be very caught up in this idea of well they're gonna explain how Broly, like why they want to go get Broly from the planet for because of Frieza going after him. I don't think that's what's going on, yo. I don't nah, think that... I don't think it's the like, Frieza I don't, thing. Yeah, I don't think Frieza has anything to do with Broly anymore. I think people think that because of what Frieza said in the movie, but since then with Frieza getting Black Frieza, he ain't sweating Broly. He's not sweating him at all. And why would Broly ever go work for Frieza again? Because hell, 
didn't isn't Broly going to eventually find out what really happened to his father? So I don't think Frieza is going to be a factor in that story until later. I think Broly and Frieza will meet each other, but not yet. That's yeah. down the road. Uh, they, I think they'll see each other again. But um, so, but I, I still think, think that will be Broly, Broly training with Goku and Vegeta. What were you going to say? I still think that Broly is part of Frieza's ultimate plan. I just Could don't be. see that. But there's no way that Goku knows any of this. We know this as we as the readers. But Goku, Vegeta, they don't know any of this. So if they go to if they go pick up Broly, it's because they just want to train with him. Right. Nothing to do with they have right. no idea what's going on with Frieza. Yeah, yeah. they want to train with him. <laughs> and hell, for all we know, they might tell him, listen, Frieza's really strong. All three of us gotta get strong to go against him. That would yes. make sense logically. Now I'll tell you how the, the chapter is probably gonna end. I think the chapter is going to end with Dr. Hedo getting out of jail. That's what I think. Ba basically, too. That's what oh, I you do? Okay, too. perfect. Yeah. yeah. So, which means that for the 49 pages of the upcoming chapter, we're going to be able to go a little bit deeper into maybe uh, go, uh, Piccolo and, and, and Pan, right? That And go and uh, Gohan. I think that's going to get expanded upon. See, I, I don't agree with you on that. I think, and you might be mm. right. I'm not, I, I'm not, we're just making predictions here. So we could both be wrong. We could both be right, or one of us could be wrong, one of us could be right. What I mean by that is, I think that the way it's going to go is we're going to get the Broly stuff for the first, I don't know, 20 or so pages, more with him training. Then we're going to get to the introduction of Magenta and Red Pharmaceuticals, and that will lead to Hedo getting broken out, and then that's the cliffhanger. I think Hedo getting broken out of prison and uh, being in the car with Magenta, that'll be the cliffhanger, because in the movie, remember... There was a time skip because when Hedo and meets Magenta and they go to the headquarters, then it goes to Piccolo and Pan, but that's later on because by the time that Piccolo and Pan are training in the movie, doesn't mean they weren't training beforehand, but I mean what we see in the movie, Gamma 1 and Gamma 2 were finished and Cell Max was almost finished. So, you know, right. I think we're going to need to see it. So what they could do is... The chapter ends with Hedo getting broken out. Then the next chapter, we see him building the gammas. And then we see, or, like, you know, like early blueprints or whatever. And, yeah. you know, with Magenta's money. And then that segues into uh, Piccolo and Pan. I, I somehow think it's going to it's gonna be mostly, I could, I could be wrong, but I think the first half will be Broly, Goku, Vegeta. Second half will be Magenta and Carmine having that conversation right. at the beginning of the movie. Probably with extra dialogue is my guess. Now, I, I actually think that the events of the movie are going to continue through the summer. Yeah, I, I know it's kind of weird. Me too. I know it's kind of weird to say just because the movie is it's only a certain runtime, right? So, I mean, you could fit that in just a couple of chapters. But I do think they're going to expand upon some of the backstory with the Red Ribbon Army. How did they go from point A to point B, right? right. I would or, like uh, that. I would like that a lot, actually. Because that's the slice of life that we care about. Pan, Piccolo, Gohan. Right, like what's going on between those characters? That's the last one. Yeah, and, I'm and down. If, if the Saiyan X one and two thing actually went somewhere, then I think we care about it too. But it just went nowhere, at least not yet. Yeah, no. it, might, it might go somewhere later, maybe down the road after the movie. But uh, I agree. Like stuff that we didn't see in the movie can be interesting, like what you said. But again not necessary however it'll be interesting as a fan of dragon ball to see what they add is there any specific change or any specific scene you think they're going to add for this upcoming chapter besides more on the hedo and magenta stuff is there something else you think we might, might see uh, I, I don't see a, a particular retcon uh not another changing... retcon just an extra scene or two that you what would you like and what do you think we're going to see in your opinion honestly what I would like to see more of is uh, what Krillin was up to, <laughs> because he clearly he clearly was doing That's research true. onto this the Red Ribbon Army. I agree Him with and that. his boys, like he 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 had already done like FBI agent, like had all the research done, and then suddenly he shows up at the end of the movie. What else was he up to during all of this, right? So I, Krillin was the MVP to me in chapter ninety. So I, I want to see more of him in the upcoming chapters. Right. No, I, I, I wouldn't mind seeing that either. I, I kind of agree. I mean... And, and, and notice how mm -hmm. Krillin is not hiding the fact that he's basically a superhuman. He's flying. He's on, you know, communicating with the, his higher As ups, if cops right? weren't already intimidating. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, so he, I think he's going to have like an interesting, sad story. 
Right, I hope so. I mean, I, I think, I know some fans have been saying we're going to see Gohan training and Piccolo's move. I don't think we're going to see that because it would take away from the surprise of him using it the at surprise. the end against Cell Max. Yeah. yeah. I don't think that it's even necessary to even show that. It's just him no. pra practicing the move on rocks or whatever. It's not that interesting. But uh, more, with, that, that, more with Cell that, Max. That was the whole and thing about like the movie. That. That he was out of practice, right? And, and Piccolo kept kept annoying him, like, "Bro, what, what are you doing?" He's like, "Nah, my my dad has it." So they're definitely not, we're definitely not gonna see any signs of Gohan uh, training. Whatsoever. Yeah, we should him even practicing that move. I think would also be, uh, it, it's not. It, it wouldn't kill me to see it, but I don't think it's that important enough to see. Mm, um, I think it's it's more important to see, like you said, where Red Ribbon's been at and where they're going. Uh, and what Magenta's done as opposed to, you know, um, anything else. I mean, again, the, to me, the Goku Vegeta stuff and Broly stuff is the most interesting stuff that that I think is going to happen early on. And then the Piccolo and Pan stuff. But I still don't see us seeing that until Chapter 92 at least. But I could be wrong. I mean, I don't know what they're going to do different. You're right. They could edit the story differently and, and show us scenes differently. I just don't think they're going to make major changes. If you're a Dragon Ball fan and you're expecting perfect Cell Max, you're not going to get that dude. I'm telling you. It's going to be the same as the movie. So now they're, actually, they're before, not going to add Before that. we end the video, yeah. I, I do have a question. Because in yeah. the movie, we never saw Ultra Eagle. All or right. Ultra that, Instinct. That was, or Ultra Instinct. So do you think now that the manga has shown that... Do you think that as they're training Pan and Beerus, we're actually going to get to finally see a match between Ultra Instinct and Ultra Ego? Because that's something that the fans have been speculating for a while now. I think, what would I think I would like to see that, but I don't think we will because the whole purpose of that sparring match was no transformations, no key blasts. How good are you physically without any of those handicaps or any of those enhancements? So I think that is what we're going to see in base form. However... I would like it if Ultra Ego and Ultra Instinct Goku tore up the planet and then we had to <laughs> reverse time to fix it. And then he tells them, okay, no more transformations. No more. Not here. Yeah. Do that somewhere else. That could be a, that at least a reason. Sick. Yeah, that would, that's what I would like. So with that being said, let us know what you think about Chapter 91 and we'll see you next time.